I'm SirTapTap, and this is Shakedown Hawaii. This is the 16-bit style sequel of uh, Retro City Rampage, which made by V-Blank Entertainment, which you might remember as being one of the most ported games of all time to a really impressive degree. I got... <laughs> it's so impressive I had to bring up the wiki article to, to figure out all the different releases here. So, the original game was released on um, all of the consoles at the time. Uh, Xbox Live Arcade, Microsoft Windows, of course, PS3, PlayStation Vita, which is the version I played. It was released on WiiWare uh, by, the by the creator, just basically out of the goodness of his heart. He knew he wouldn't get... Um, back then, they had a really restrictive... Um, you had to earn so much money for them to actually pay out, and he knew he wouldn't hit that on WiiWare, and as far as I'm aware, did not, and just kind of genuinely just released it just to be out there, just to not screw over his fans on Nintendo platforms, so, um... The, the creator, Bryvin Provinciano, I believe it's pronounced? That's a good view right there. Uh, the... <laughs> the creator's a really good dude, and just... Ports like mad. Um... There is an actual, um... <laughs> the craziest thing about the, um... The, the craziest thing about the whole port situation is that, um... Th there was... He wrote a really good article about why... Um, it couldn't really be port, or it would be a ton of work to make it truly, genuinely 8-bit. So there's a few, you know, things that the original game does not really do 8-bit like. Um, and then, um, after that, he made a real MS-DOS version of it, um, that fits on a floppy disk. And then sold it. <laughs> so this is the 16-bit version, and it's actually really neat to see, um... Real 16-bit style uh, cutscene things here. A lot of 16-bit um, style games never really do uh, cutscenes, and I mentioned that in the uh, when I played um, Master Spy is a game that actually did that. Um, really authentic-looking um, DOS pixel art cutscenes, and they look really good. I love these destructible fence physics. That's. I think they have them now, but I have not played a regular Grand Theft Auto since fences were just complete impenetrable brick walls. Oh, hello, Mr. Oh, what is this rampage thing? So obviously it is a, you know, Grand Theft Auto kind of thing. How do I activate this? Maybe I can't because, oh, do I got to go inside? <laughs> if you can't tell, this is my first time playing this. How you doing, my friend? What's this? Can I get some eyewear? Oh hell yeah. It seems like a valid use of my money. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> I like that I can't I don't steal that. I steal everything else, but not that. Alright, do I have alright, I got a map. So, it's a big old open world arena, just like, you know, Grand Theft Auto. And the original Retro Ramp is if you never played it it's it, this the name sounds a little generic at this point what's going on over here uh name sounds a little generic but it was a really good game had a really good really good writing and sense of humor oh that m is my mission isn't it i'm stupid never mind that <laughs> I was like where do i go i can't possibly imagine where i need to go on this map so it teaches you good driving skills it teaches you um how to react in like a regular society Oh, the line is to... Oh. Oh, it's got the, um... The line is telling you where to go. I thought the line was where I came from. Probably because I, like, immediately left where I was supposed to go. But it's got that, um, this is where you need to go, stupid kind of thing that, um... Uh-oh, the cops. Ow! Ow! That is... The cops are not supposed to do that. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're not supposed to do that. Anyway. Look at my nice... Awful hair here. Online shopping killed our retail stores. Cruiser. Oh, it's it's modern times. Oh no, our VHS stores. Oh, I guess we're not really we're a little bit behind on the times. <laughs> Renting video games. What, what else are you gonna do? It's just a fad, buddy. It's just a fad. Oh, the 
that 80s ass phone. That 80s ass blazer too. <laughs> I'm so bad at business. <laughs> this just feels a little bit like the um, the start of the first Yakuza where you've been in jail for 10 years and you, you're like, cellular phones? Get all of that neon laser thing. IBS for an audition. All right, man. I, I know why most games go. For, most games go like for the retro vibe. They go for 8-bit because I mean, really simple. Four colors, though a lot of games don't actually keep to that, or any particular <laughs> limitations in general. But um, a 16-bit. That's that's where my first console was an SNES and. I always thought that's when games started to look just genuinely really good. Not like just good for the hardware, but just like, you know, Chrono Trigger, Yoshi's Island, um, Final Fantasy VI just look really good, just period. Not just, not for SNES, they just look good. <laughs> and now it's, um... Uh, Smash TV, that's what it's called, yeah. With actual smashing. Is it, like, even possible to beat Smash TV? Like... <laughs> I, I tried a few times, I couldn't really get into it. Shoot the van. Okay. I mean, why not? Oh, it's a tutorial, I see, that's why. Yeah, the original had uh, pretty fun movement and controls. Like it's a, it's just it's kind of like a really zoomed out um, Grand Theft Auto, and it's a lot. I don't, I, I don't, I, I don't really like the direction Grand Theft Auto kind of went in post um, San Andreas is the last one I actually completed, and the whole the online stuff really does not interest me. So I just want to dick around in a car and like, you know. I don't have to worry about V-Bucks or whatever, stupid shark cash or whatever. Uh, no. You can buy $1,800 worth of shark cash and like buy a single car that can get destroyed by anyone else on the internet. This, I don't understand the particular appeal of this. This is how you use sidewalks, right? Yes. Hello, Mr. Cops. I just like the feeling of just... It feels even more open because, like, the cops aren't really that good at stopping you. And you can just kind of go and screw around. And I always... The story missions, like I said, the writing was really funny. And um, there's a lot of, like, you know, gaming references and, like, unofficial cameos and stuff. Um, but it just feels really open and you can just kind of mess around. And it doesn't have that, like insistence that a lot of open world stuff has where you oh you got to go find the towers to unlock the map pieces and stuff it's like you just dick around to dick around there's no real driving force i mean you get money and you kind of you can unlock some stuff i don't know how too different this is from that i'm just kind of getting into this oh yeah that is that is a good ass word processor newer version what do you mean newer version <laughs> Hey, Adobe. What happened to the body button? Where the hell did it go? Exactly. Ugh. Very topical because uh, Adobe just doubled the price on their uh, Photoshop thing. I just use... I just use Jimp. Sorry, bruh. You're wasting my daytime minutes. Oh god, I remember when those were a thing. Oh man, what? Was was there even a real, like, non-business reason for those? Like, uh, the, <laughs> the old phone systems freaking sucked. <laughs> DJ Jock Itch. Incredible. That's, that's what... Yeah, I, if you told me DJ Jock Itch, that's pretty much what I would imagine, so yeah. Get a real job. 
I mean, this is the Switch version, by the way. Oh, and a review copy of this was provided by the developer, which... If it was not obvious. Oh. I'm this guy now. Um, <laughs> I'm playing this. This comes out tomorrow, so... Any bugs or anything may... Oh, I don't have my guns. Or do I? No, I don't. Checking this out, kind of pre-release. Apparently, we were allowed to stream it, but I didn't. I didn't think to um, check that out before. Uh, I just figured, like you know, what, I'll just do a little quick look. That's what you get for your cell phone, buddy. <laughs> I love that the distance is measured in pixels. This just has a lot of cute touches like that. Also, you can bounce on people's heads. It's a little. It's a little picky, but... Right, let's go buy my shoes. Moo! Hi, Parker. I want... I want the black ones. I'm a sneakerhead now. Hi, Park. <laughs> she just used a selfie stick. Amazing. Shoe hoarder's credit. Oh, that's the real, that's the real sneakerhead credit card right there. What's, what's the deal with sneakerheads, by the way? Like, what? It's a shoe, it's a shoe you put on your foot. Some of them are good, but like... Look at that. <laughs> look at that majestic crest I've got going on there. That's right, Parker. This is a strong motorcycle. This, it just kind of eats the fence. I like that. Sometimes things need to be less realistic to make them more fun. <laughs> that is so... That is, that's such a... Um, Brian does an amazing job with, like... Ow. Authenticity. It just really feels the the, uh, the directionality of the sprites. just feels like something you would really would have seen on uh, SNES. What do, you, what, do you, what do you want? Get, get out of here. Uh oh. Probably shouldn't have done that. What are you doing, Parker? My cat is destroying my life, as he always does. Screw you guys. Going home. What are you doing? You better not be breaking my new hard drives. I got new hard drives. I got two 10 terabyte ones because I really, <laughs> really need a lot of space now. Online shopping is worse than I ever could have imagined. Agreed. I like those gum flaps. Those are good gum flaps. Free shipping, same day delivery. <laughs> if we don't stop these metal delivery trucks, my stores will be toast. So we gotta bring this place back to the early 90s. Got it. Hi, Parker. Are you a fan of the 90s, Parker? I think he is. Yes. You were not even alive when the 90s. You were not even alive when the 2000 knots. That's right. I love how I just kind of like explode out of the car when I hit that button. Hi, Parker. Letter openers. Oh, man, these are good. I like the fonts a lot too. <laughs> That jiggly pomp, these are the real jiggle physics. Search for a truck. It's got good shooting controls. I don't believe the original. Well, I played it on Vita. I don't believe it had Parker. Quite as accurate. Parker. There you go. So this has got businesses and property stuff like um. I guess if the original is like the um, the first couple of Grand Theft Autos, this is kind of like uh, Vice City, not only just because of the neon purple, um, but it's got properties and stuff. Feeble subsidiaries. You know you're working for a winner when your name your company's name is Feeble. Do I like? I have assets. I, <laughs> did I buy how to. Oh man, this is remind. I <laughs> I just did my taxes a month ago. And it's like this is like oh no, it's taxes the video game. Oh hey, neat. Oh yeah, in the original, in uh, in Retro City Rampage, there was a ton of value. Oh, here we go. There was different color modes for like um, Parker. Uh, Parker, 
I'm trying to do a video, buddy. Why don't you sit over there? Um. There's, um. <laughs> Mega Drive. There's, uh. Damn. There's, uh, NES, you know, DOS. All kinds of different stuff. Um. Oh, let's do next gen. It's brown, it's real. Now we're talking. This is real graphics right here. It's all washed out and shitty. You gotta love it. Let's buy a snack. What's up? <laughs> I've been like shooting people. He's just he's just fine with this. It's like as long as I get my money, it's fine. All right, delivery trucks. Where'd my car go? Right, I'll just hop in this one. Ah, here we go. This is, that is one tough car. Oh god, police! I don't think police is supposed to just run you over. I could be wrong. Oh, now I'm son. We got we got two people. All right, let's try another. Oh, we got stats. Oh my god, it's got even more stats in Grand Theft Auto. Got some chivos, skills like skill. Oh. Oh, kill chains and stuff, all right. People popped cops caps. Silence jacks. Bike pulse Parker? You can't eat my control. He's trying to eat my controller. Why would why you do? Why you do? You can't eat that. That's mine. Parker, this controller costs 80 or 70. dollars It's cheaper now, but like Parker I'm doing things here. Oh, yes. Trish. This is the vine sauce vehicle. Oops. Oh, hey, it doesn't kill you if you die and, and the car explodes with you. I have 99 grenades. When did I get 99 grenades? How do I... <laughs> They're contact grenades, apparently. Ow. Nice. All right, nice. I like the father-son behave, like the father-son picnic thing going on here. It's nice to see kids and their parents, you know, working out towards a, um, you know, a positive outcome. You don't see this these days. This is you need. You need to go back to the '90s to see this real kind of cooperation between family members. Masked assailants. Oh, it really is. We're on an island, so it really is uh, Vice City, huh? Local retailers. Sad thing is, I think most people would willingly just like wait a few extra days. I don't think. Well, for one thing, most local retailers are like just not even here anymore. I think if all of the Amazon trucks in my area blew up, I think I would be pretty much toast. Right, look at that grin. That grin at this particular angle cracks me up. Oh man, so. This is Shakedown Hawaii. Let's take one more peek at the options here. Oh, reduce camera movements. Always. Score effects. Huh. Autosave, always want that. Cop coin drops. You can have a manual. Manual drive you mode if you want. <laughs> I like this wide sc widescreen CRT, which there are those are a thing, but they're they just weigh like three thousand pounds. What's Portland two supposed to be? I think I still have the color filter on though. Oh no, I don't. Huh. Not sure what this is supposed to be. Feels kind of DOSy. There, no, there's a specifically a DOS one though. I don't know. Anyway, this is Shakedown Hawaii. This seems really cool. Seems like a really worthy successor. Now that now that Brian has finally ported Retro City Rampage to absolutely everything possible, we finally have the sequel. So this is on. Um, 
This is coming to basically everything in the tradition of Retro City Rampage. Uh, this is the Switch version coming to PS4, PS Vita, I believe Xbox, and definitely um, PC and such. Well, I guess those those are the things, so no and such. But yeah, check it out. It's It comes out the day I posted this video, so it, it it's out already. What do you have to say, Parker? Aw, oh, you suck. He never talks when I wanted to talk. He always talks when I don't want him to, though. Oh, well. Bye from me and Parker. Tap Tap here. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you want. I read every comment posted, so don't embarrass yourself. Social media links in the description, including my Patreon and any relevant links to the game.